this example, we're trying to do an E2 reaction on this alkyl halide. So first of all, if you look at the final product, we'll see that it's an alkene, which is uh, exactly what we would expect from an E2 reaction. Now let's just check if the arrows are making sense. So we start with the lone pair on the hydroxide, which is attacking this hydrogen. Now this is the right hydrogen because in an E2, we have to count to three from the halide. So if I look at this bromine, I count one, two, three. So this particular hydrogen is eligible for undergoing the E2 elimination. Now the problem is that even though the first arrow is showing that we are removing the H from the carbon and putting it on the oxygen, I would need an, another arrow from the CH bond going in between the two carbons to create the double bond. So we have a problem here in the, in the flow of the arrows. The arrow is, in, is instead going from the, uh, the other hydrogen, which is not, in fact, being picked off by the hydroxide. So that's, that's a problem in the mechanism. Otherwise, uh, the rest of the mechanism would be fine. The CBr bond, in fact, is the one that breaks at the end to give you Br minus. So it turns out that this particular reaction is false.